Stephen Daniela here, holistic health coach and founder of Team Euphoric. Today I'm going to be showing you how to touch your toes in two minutes. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that if you would like to obtain a copy of this board that you see to my right, I will be uploading a picture of it onto our Instagram account as well as our Facebook page, so be on the lookout for that. I will also be including a link in the description box to our Instagram account as well as our Facebook page. Before we get started with the description and demonstration, just a quick recap about what we learned about the joints in the human body. There are hundreds of joints in the human body, however, for the purpose of this video series, we will just be focusing on the major 11 joints of the human body. Starting inferiorly and working superiorly, we have our ankle joints, knees, hips, we have our lumbosacral joint, then we have our intervertebral lumbar and thoracic joint, so that's our lumbar column and our thoracic column, our intervertebral cervical column, and our atlanto-occipital joint. So where our atlas, or our C1, meets with our occipital bone. Moving laterally from there, so away from the midline, proximally we have our shoulder joint, and then distally from there, we have our elbow and our wrist joint. Now that we've covered the joints in the human body, let's take a look at the exercise. A lot of people are going to have problems touching their toes. If you have problems touching your toes, it's one of two issues. You either have really tight hamstrings, or you lack the biomechanics to properly hip hinge. If you lack the biomechanics to properly hip hinge, that's going to cause a lot of problems because you won't be able to perform a lot of really great exercises like deadlift patterns or squat patterns. And these are patterns that are really good for building overall strength and also really good for helping you to burn fat as well as build muscle. So how can we correct a, an improper hip hinging pattern? We can perform a toe touch progression. The toe touch progression, there are two positions that we are going to be in. For the first position, you are going to stand with your toes on top of an incline board or your toes elevated on top of a 2x4. If you don't have access to either an incline board or a 2x4, you can grab a book and put that underneath your toes. Just make sure that the book is about 1.5 to 2 inches thick. From there, you want to make sure that your knees are straight, your toes are pointing straight ahead, you have a yoga block placed in between your knees. If you don't have a yoga block, you can also use a really thick rolled up towel and put that in between your knees. Your hands are going to be placed on your thighs. You're going to inhale as you glide your hands up your body, reach for the sky and look up, and then exhale as you bring your arms, glide them down your body, down towards your toes, and you're going to finish with looking down. So you want to look between your legs. You're looking through your legs to the opposite side of the room. Once you've gone down as far as you can, you're going to squeeze your legs together and hold that contraction for three to five seconds. You are then going to come back up to the top and repeat the process for 10 to 20 repetitions. The second position is essentially the same as the first position. The only difference being, instead of our toes being elevated on the incline board around the two by four, now the incline board is going to be behind our feet, so our heels are going to be elevated. Same thing though, heels are elevated, yoga block between our knees. We are going to inhale as we glide our hands up, look up to the sky, and then we are going to look down, glide our hands back down, and then as we go all the way down, you're looking through your legs. Once you've gone down as far as you can, you're going to squeeze your legs together. You are going to repeat that also for 10 to 20 times. One thing to note is a lot of people, when they do this toe touch progression, they forget when they get to the bottom position to look through their legs. It's very important that when you're in the bottom position, you look through your legs because the way the fascial lines work in the human body, your posterior or superficial back line, it's going to run all the way from your heel all the way to the top of your head. So by looking down, you're going to put further stretch on that posterior or that superficial back line. And by, by looking down, you're going to actually be able to feel an extra stretch in your hamstrings. And that's going to allow you to get farther range of motion later on in the exercise. Now I will demonstrate the exercise for you. All you need to do to perform today's toe touch progression is a 2x4 and a yoga block. If you do not have access to a 2x4, you can also get a textbook, one and a half to two inches thick, put that on the floor and you could also use that to replace the 2x4. You're going to stand with your toes on the 2x4, this is going to be your first position. Place the yoga block between your knees. You are then going to inhale, glide your hands up your body, reach for the sky and look up. And then you are going to slowly exhale as you glide your hands back down, reaching down towards your toes. And once you get to the bottom, look down between your legs. Once you can't go any farther, you're going to squeeze your legs together. And then you are going to inhale and come back up, gliding your hands up, looking up to the sky. And then exhaling as you glide your hands back down and looking down between your knees. 
Just a reminder, it's very important that you're not looking up to get that maximal stretch in your superficial back line. You want to look down between your legs because the superficial back line runs from your heels to your head. So by looking down, you're going to get that maximal stretch throughout the fascia line. Once you can't go any farther, squeeze your legs together. I'm going to show you one more time. Inhale, glide your hands up, look up to the sky, and exhale. Keep your knees straight as far as you can, look down, and squeeze your knees together. Second position. Now your heels are going to be on the 2x4. Yoga block again between your knees. You're going to inhale as you look up, so same thing. Glide your hands down your body, exhale. Look down between your knees to the opposite side of the room. Squeeze your legs together once you can't go any farther. And then come up again, inhale, look down, glide your hands down, keep the knees straight, look between your legs, squeeze your knees together once you can't go any farther. And that is the second position. One thing also when you are performing this, it's very important that you test and retest yourself just to see how much you have improved. So first time you're doing it, just take a go as far down as you can, see where you can go. And then once you've done the exercise, again, just kind of see if you've improved and if you have, how far have you improved? That covers it for today's video on how to touch your toes in two minutes. If you like the video that you saw today, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for some more great content. And I will see you again next time.